My name is Kathy Connors. I'm a partner at Pierce Atwood, a law firm in Portland. My husband and I live in Kennebunk. I'm Republican, I'm a Catholic, and I'm testifying in favor of LD 1020. <laughs> 22 lawsuits from other states. Some opponents of LD 1020 claim that it'll force individuals in Maine who believe that homosexuality is immoral to act against their beliefs, but that is not the case. The argument is misdirected. The decisions that they cite don't turn on the presence or the absence of marriage. Each involves general non-discrimination laws that forbid different treatment of gay people, whatever their marital status, in ordinary civic transactions. So while the opposition testimony references marriage, it's really an objection to the existing Maine Human Rights Act. Faith is cited to justify anti-gay discrimination in the secular commercial marketplace. Under the Human Rights Act, we don't let people cite their faith to discriminate in that marketplace based on race or sex or age. And sexual orientation is no different. You already made the decision to protect gay people in that context, and whether they can marry or not won't affect that. I've submitted longer written testimony explaining this, the details of the cases cited, and how existing law does protect religious freedom as opposed to secular discrimination. The issue in the school case, for example, the Parker case, the issue there was whether parents could adopt their child out of, opt their child out of exposure to any material that depicts same-sex families. The relevant law there wasn't a marriage law. It was the school curriculum standard law, which was enacted in Massachusetts long before same-sex marriage was recognized. It wasn't dependent on that. The other cases are similar. They're unrelated to the legal status of marriage, but rather governed by existing laws against discrimination in the public secular marketplace. In sum, whether gay people can obtain the legal status of marriage doesn't affect existing laws against discrimination based on sexual orientation, and it doesn't reduce anybody's rights under the First Amendment to worship and express their beliefs as they see fit. Thank you very much.